God, chat. Really? Uh, I was in the moment. Like, I was... <laughs> so start over. Okay. So, basically, I feel like you have too much knowledge for a lot of relationships, and people can't really fathom that. Because you have a logic for everything. You can analyze things or situations from the victim mindset and also from a savior mindset. Because most people aren't always looking at both sides. And the fact that you can be a realist about it and be unemotional about the simple fact that it's truly the principle of how you treat people, how you want to be treated, things that you don't do, you don't want done to you. Simple, like... People can be flawed and have every reason as to why or just apologize when you can simply understand it. It's, it's immoral and have the logic behind it and people don't respect when you speak in your mind because they want you to be on that flaw shit because that's what they thought you were. But then when you tell a nigga straight up, no, you're fucked up, nigga. <laughs> I didn't say shit. <laughs> when you did that, motherfucker, but I saw that. You feel me? And they be in their feelings, but it's all good. It's all good. These motherfuckers don't know. But you're really smart as shit. And that's why people don't really like you, girl. You're smart as fuck. That niggas be like, get that nigga from around me. Get that nigga from around me. <laughs> no, dead ass, I'm telling you, because I see, I literally just saw it. I saw it. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Kivia. I'm cool, man. You know, we outside. I'm chilling. Who's Kivia? Kivia, I am his niece, his first niece. We were raised together. We grew up like freaking brother and sister. That's my dog, but it's my uncle, too. Very protective. <laughs> Such a gentleman. You know? It's like, Chad is such a gentleman. Like, literally, when he was like, um, when I was going to my car, and I asked Chad, could he open the door for me? He literally, like, opened the door, then he put on his shoes and was able to close the door, and then he was able to get to the car before me and already left out the door and open the car door. Men don't even try that hard no more. It's the respect. It's family. He's a fucking respectful. You're fucking dumb. I didn't know you noticed that. I noticed a lot, Chad. Because I heard my foot, too. I was like, God damn, I heard my foot. Uh-huh. Say less. 
message understood. So as I left, they treat you different. They treat you, they treat you different. You got something different. Like, I can fuck up. I said, you know, like, she said, leave me with that. You know, when I came back from Biggie's wedding, that's when he was like, realized that his children were blaming him for running me away. And he was like, we gotta stop this, bro. We gotta, my kids still not ready to away, bro. We gotta, we gotta buy it. So that's why. You ever, as, and if someone goes to think you ran someone away, can you imagine the image that is painted of you? What the fuck? Like, you mean as shit. Like, you mean as hell. Like, for real, for real. Who the hell do you think would want to be around you? Alright, alright, but look. Nigga, uh, nigga didn't have a safety warning. Fuck, like, Alright, alright, so. Yeah, we're trying to think of it on a deeper level. Okay. So that's it. Um, <laughs> I, I so like, we could look at it like, you're so angry, you're this bad person, no one wants to be around you, right? That's a tragic character. Yeah, it is. And we it's should happens. just, yeah, and we should just pray for him because he still is a good soul. But something happened, and yeah. he's he's dealing with it that way. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like what, like what happened that you can't address you and try to hear from? Him. He's he's being you just you just yeah. I know. I don't really. I try not to get like sometimes I have an attitude as well. But I am more so. I've told him myself many times. I accept you for who you are. Like you. You don't know how to accept love nor give love. He's not a bad person, and I test him that. I tried to. Like, let him know, you know, like, that's not doing everything's cool, you can't even need to Well, he, he thinks he can choose when to be a good person yeah, or an actual that's person. That thing, shit's yeah. fucking, how the fuck do yeah, you do that? that's the thing. <laughs> the, yeah. How do you do that? That's like, the issue. what? Yeah, that's the thing, you have to, like, almost that's what I try to do, like. Uh-uh. Um, you need to tell? Yeah. I got you. Yeah, I swear, that's why I took a good job. I swear, 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 now that I don't live here no more, the times that I do come over here busy, we're going to be sitting out here talking for a long-ass time. Dude, does that not happen every... Okay. Every time I don't... Well, I'll probably just put that in the air. But never, every time I... Well, huh? Every time I don't live here, when I do come over here, we... What? We chatting for, like, hours. We really be out here, and we... It'd be great conversations, too. When I live here, we barely even see each other. Because it's like the fact that we live together, we don't make that time, truth, truth be told, we don't make that time to be around each other because, nigga, I see you every day. Like, yeah, I'll talk to you later. And then later don't come because you got something going on now. Plans change. Things happen. Life happens. You know? But then when you don't live, when you do come around, you're making the time. You make the time because you don't have that time at your, at your, um, at your will, you know? Yeah. That's crazy though. That's but that's how people do every that's a lot that's how a lot of people do. People others in general, like you don't really value something until it's gone. Technically. Like, that's that's what that is basically you're saying. Yeah, I'm going it now. <laughs> I can't keep out the video, so I want to record this and I probably make some videos about uh-huh. talking about you or like the whole messages to you and stuff. Uh-huh. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm still Talk under your head. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, 
So that was basically like my first reaction video, basically. He listened to an audio file I recorded on my phone of a conversation with my niece, Phoebe. Um, she has two YouTube channels, her, her, her first one, Kevi TV, K-E-V-I TV. And then she has a new one, it's Kevia Kanai. So it's K-E-V-I-A and then space. K A N A I. The middle name is Kanaja, so it's Kana. So Kana. Kivia Kanai. She has a YouTube now. So you all just watched my first reaction video, and you got to listen to the the podcast with Kivia and myself. That made me realize like her and I would do a really nice podcast. You know, podcast with my niece. It, it, that would be cool. We, we did be vibing and smoking. We were smoking the whole time. He heard me cough, and that was about it, though. But um, now we came up with a new word for it. We call it soda. That's our new thing. It's called it soda. But I know soda could have been like a term for coke, maybe, or something. Like cocaine or soda or some shit. But we just call it soda. You know, whatever. Or ginger ale. If you don't want to say soda, just use a type of soda. You want some Sprite? You got some Sprite? Yeah, you got some Pepsi? You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't got no Sprite. I got some, uh, I got some Fanta. You know what I'm saying? It's like different strands and shit. Yeah, I got some. You know what I'm saying? So, you all just got to hear that. And I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be playing my audio files and just sit here and just kind of feel myself listening to it and just do reaction and just get the reaction, my reaction of my audio. I think that's funny because... You get to see me kind of incriminate myself because I play it. The, the reaction is the incrimination because I, I play it, don't know what I was saying on there, hear it back like a fan, like, oh shit. Like, uh, no, and then you can see when I can admit that, like, what I said was like, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, like, what it was like, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I say some shit and then I just. Look at you like, oh shit. Because it's like, I said it a long time ago, or recently, but I don't remember the the script 100% because there was no script. So that, like, that was how I felt at that moment. And now you get to see me listen to it, see me hear it. You get to watch me listen to it while you listen to it as well. And uh, get to actually see when I'm shocked or surprised by something that I say. So, I look forward to doing those. I wish I had more buds so I could just kind of be smoking inside of the reaction videos because I'm just going to be sitting there listening. And a lot of that stuff is long, bro. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. So, you know, I would like to just smoke to it. That would be a lot better. Like, yeah, I'm sitting here just smoke and listen to an hour file real quick and record it on video. So, boom, smoke and listen to it. Oh, shit, laughing. And I'll be more chill sitting down for 45 minutes just listening to me talk. Like, you know. So, but thank you all for watching. I really, I really, I really do hope you all enjoyed that. That podcast with Kiki, I wanted to get that out of the way and uh, put that up. Um, I even have another conversation to say it's 30 minutes long. It's uh, I titled it Jacob and I Conversation. So go ahead and do that. But yeah, start doing my reactions and um, going to. Going to my old audio files and just playing them on video. Like, I'm just so mad I never thought about that at 25, like, when I was recording all this audio and I didn't really know how I was going to get it on my YouTube and stuff. How am I going to get these audio files on my YouTube channel, man? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, figured it out. Simple. Play the audio on video. 
shit, man. You understand? So thank you all for watching. I'm going to take a break for real now. But listening to that did cheer me up. Because the video right before you saw me crying. I said it. This one cheered me up. Thank you, Kiwi. Thank you.